All right, so for this lesson, we are looking at the Spanish artist Joan Miro. Um, he is a surrealist artist. And so this lesson is gonna focus on, um, well, we're gonna talk about the colors and we're just going to create, you know, our own kind of unique surrealist. So dreamlike um, art piece. Um, Miro liked to use a lot of biomorphic shapes, which that means um, shapes that uh, include more humanistic um, shapes and forms or animalistic, so like fish, birds were used a lot in his work. And then also stars, the constellations, the sky. So you can kind of mix some of those elements into your art um, for this project. And so I'm just gonna kind of copy what's here, um, uh, but the kids can get more creative. This is just kind of simple and this doesn't have to be just like that. So for this lesson, you are gonna need Sharpies to draw with. And because we are going to, to do a layover with the um, bleeding tissue paper and then water. So just need Sharpies for this. Just remind your, and this even for kinder, just remind them that Sharpies will stain their clothing. Um, we're going to give this guy some eyebrows. And um, so they need to you know, make sure they are not writing on themselves to keep the markers on the paper, um, not write on a friend. And just kind of give them, you know, those, just go over those little details about Sharpie markers. And create kind of a body. And you do want to, you know, like at this one, I just kind of split the body down the middle and, you know, kind of divide it up into sections so that some of the sections I could color in with black. Now this one, you know, maybe this is too big, so I may want to add some just other lines in here. That way I'm not having to take a lot of time to color in big sections. So we kind of have some human-like form here, possibly animal. We can add some, let's see, different kind of legs maybe to this one, or maybe it's kind of more like, you know, you could do almost a wavy line, maybe like kind of like an octopus or something like that for legs. And you could color in some of these spaces with the black Sharpie too. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail with that. You can see in the example, um, some of the spaces that I colored in on that one. All right, um, so, you know, arms, it's really up to you. I do kind of like the moon shape, kind of overlapping to break up the space. I'm gonna color in a little section here. Um, maybe I'll go this direction. Okay. And then again, just kind of in the background, just to add some different shapes. Uh, let's see if you can kind of make some little star like shapes. Just some kind of spirally lines, just some dots. You can really just kind of get creative. Like I said, kind of kind of dreamlike. So whatever feels kind of dreamlike, kind of different, kind of bizarre even, um, things that you want to add. Okay, so I'll just add a couple little things. All right, so they'll do the drawing part first and then just have them put the Sharpies away. Do have them still put the name on the back with pencil. Um, Sharpie will bleed through, so just pencils for the back for their name. All right, now then, gonna have some pre-cut pieces of tissue paper that they can just kind of arrange on top however they want to. Try to fill up most of the page with color. 
you know, maybe kind of separate and spread out the colors. And again, you know, it's more interesting if they feel like they're just wanting to pick one color because it's their favorite color, just say, yeah, but you know, it is a little, you know, like more interesting to add a couple of different colors or, you know, just mix it up a little bit. And then we'll see. Oops, have some extra green there. Okay. The final step for this, and I would just have probably one container, something like this, um, and one big paintbrush per table because it's going to take each kid at the table a little different time for this project, um, getting that arranged how they want in their drawing. And then you're going to get the wet, the brush pretty wet, but still wipe off the extra. And you really just, you're dabbing. Don't brush because it's going to brush the paper off. You're going to dab. See, it's really easy to kind of move that. So kind of have them dab. And at least kind of just dab each one down first. And then they can go back. I'm just kind of trying to get each one wet where it sticks to the paper and then they can go back and get the rest of it wet but you don't want them just dragging big drips over because then it gets too wet and the colors won't be as bright just like with watercolor if you just soak it it'll wash out the color and yes this is messy project they are going to be messy after this with their hands and stuff but it should not get all over their clothes, I guess. Okay, and then you can kind of go back and just kind of paint with it, kind of dab, again, just dabbing, because you can still, if you, they try to brush, it will brush the papers off. If they missed any spots, kind of go back. So again, you just remind them to dab. <clears throat> Okay, now the hard part of this is they're gonna to wanna to peel this off just right away. Um, maybe this would be a good time if we have another little artist video to show them or something, just to give it a minute or two where they're, hopefully we'll let it dry. Um, I think I have a couple of links on there for videos to show them. And then, you know, after it dries a little bit, then they can start peeling off. And again, yeah, it's gonna get messy. That's okay. Some, see, you can see, and some of the colors work better than others. And they have to just try and make sure they get all, like the, yeah, that, that yellow doesn't, or orangey color doesn't really always work great. Sometimes the people, thank you. And just peel it off. So yeah, we may have to have some kind of paper towels or maybe some, if newspapers maybe we can bring in some extra newspapers just to kind of pile you know so they can pile their leftovers on that and yeah you just kind of have to double check because sometimes you think you've got it all and maybe you don't okay and then this is where they can carry it carefully over to a drying rack and let it dry and that's it